We are here at the village of Alta Vista on the Hummingbird Highway. And here is the sign to Davis Falls, eight miles. It's down that track there where the truck is. Here comes a car next to the store. Um, we've picked up our guides, Ellie and Miguel. We've got their machetes. It's been a little wet and it's rained um, in the last couple of days, so we're not sure what we're going to find, whether the um, rivers are going to be impassable, but we're going to take a look. A lot of trucks, citrus trucks going by. This is citrus country, Stan Creek District. Um, we're just waiting for another truck to turn up. We've got two trucks, we're, we're well equipped, and we're going to see what we find. It's a little overcast overhead there. Um, I don't think it's going to rain, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We've got two four-wheel drive trucks and we are set to go. We've been um, just traveling down the track now for about two, just over two miles and we've come to the first river crossing. It's, I think it's looking okay. I think we can make our way across that one. Um, some guys out fishing there to the left, can't see them, but they're down there. We're going to try and try take the truck across now. Here it goes. We've been driving now um, almost five miles, and this is the second river crossing. Um, I think this one is looking decently passable, pretty confident about this one. Um, the river up there, so we're going to go across. See if I can climb on a rock and get a get a better picture. There we go. Very nice. Pretty down there. Here we go. Second river crossing about to happen. And our second vehicle is about to make the crossing. This is our um, third river crossing. This one looks the shallowest of the lot. I've just got to find where it might be. Oh yeah, that's where we go. Crossing up here. Let's just take a little slightly closer look. This one hopefully is just a big puddle. I think we can get through that one okay been going through some orange groves. Our guide has pointed out some mountain bananas. Quite old orange trees, but they are still they're still harvesting citrus in this area. And previously I said that we'd we'd covered two kilometers and uh, five kilo, um, five miles and actually it was in kilometers somebody's just pointed out to me. So those previous um, distance indications were kilometers rather than miles so we've not come quite as far as I thought we had but we're still going good this is the third river crossing so we're waiting for the second truck to come through this third river crossing now that's us so far so good And this is our fourth river crossing, to nearly eight kilometers. The river up there. That's what we're going to go through. Just got to be watch out for that big stone in the middle, I think. That's the river. And here is our next river crossing. I don't see too many problems with that one again. That rocky in the approach, but not too many big rocks in the middle of the river. Good. This 
is our final river crossing and possibly the deepest one of our trucks is gonna be okay. Mine. Oh, a splash. So confident of balance of the guys are just getting some rocks and putting them down in the middle. Create a bit more um, traction. Ah. Get a little bit shallower, right? Getting out of the way. So we have made it to the trailhead, um, there's the sign, we had a few um, minor sticky moments en route, but we made it in good time. Um, hoping it's still not going to rain, there's been a few rumbles of thunder, but that can be the way without rain ever coming, so we're just about to set off, here it goes. Yeah, it's just after 12.30, uh, been hiking for oh, less than half an hour. Um, come across a few signs that indicate that we are on the hiking trail to Davis Falls. So I think it's not going to be too much longer. All in one piece so far. Here we are, just at the approach to the waterfall. Just come through the jungle, there's the river. And I'm just going to walk up to the approach to the waterfall. Ooh, see it up there?